For fans of Buck Rogers in the 25th century, the name Aaron Gray will always be synonymous with the character of Colonel Wilma Deering. Aaron played the character on both that seminal science fiction series and the theatrical film that preceded it, leaving a lasting impression on science fiction fans. Today, Aaron has fond memories of her time on the show and continues to work in film and TV. Join Facts First as Aaron Gray reveals the truth about Buck Rogers. Erin Gray was born in Honolulu, Hawaii on January 7, 1950. Her parents were Diane and Daniel, and they separated when Erin was only eight. For a few years after her parents' separation, Erin lived with her grandparents in Palm Springs. Later on in life, her mother took her back in, and the two moved out to Larkspur. Erin started high school at Redwood High before finishing at Pacific Palisades High School. She then attended college at UCLA for a brief period. While there, she was studying with the intention of receiving a degree in mathematics. But she eventually decided she'd be better off moving to New York City to pursue a career in modeling. She was no stranger to modeling at the time, having previously won a modeling contest in St. Louis at age 14. This led to Erin getting roles in various commercials throughout L.A. while she was still in high school, and she even made a TV appearance in 1967 as a dancer on the program Malibu U. Although Erin had initially felt her future was in mathematics, she eventually decided her early experiences with modeling could grow into a career. After moving to New York, her instinct paid off, and she was known as one of the nation's top TV models by the year 1975. She was earning about $100,000 a year and gaining an interest in acting. She would often fly out to L.A. and audition for as many roles as she could with the hopes of making a name for herself as an actress. In 1978, this finally paid off when she was given her first starring role. It was a miniseries named Evening in Byzantium. Her role was a success, and it led to the actress being signed with Universal Studios. She was given a seven-year contract with the studio, resulting in her being cast on Buck Rogers in the 25th century. The show premiered in 1979 and was preceded by a theatrical film that came out the same year. Erin was cast as Colonel Wilma Deering. The role took advantage of Erin's good looks and great shape, dressing her in a tight-fitting spandex jumpsuit that didn't leave much to the imagination. Erin was 28 years old when she signed her contract and started out making $600 a week, but her salary grew considerably when she was given her role on Buck Rogers in the 25th century. The show proved incredibly popular, lasting two seasons and having an immense legacy after its run. Erin had essentially just come off of filming Evening in Byzantium when she was asked to start filming Buck Rogers. Filming Evening in Byzantium had been rough, and that rough schedule got even worse when she moved over to Buck Rogers. Erin was incredibly grateful for the opportunity to make a name for herself in Hollywood, but the opportunity had come at somewhat of a bad time due to the fact that Erin had recently given birth to a new daughter. Because of this, Erin began to feel her busy filming schedule was conflicting with her duties as a mother. In addition to Aaron Gray, Buck Rogers also featured Gil Gerard as Buck Rogers. Aaron was Buck's companion on his adventures. The series followed Buck, an astronaut from the 20th century who's put into suspended animation and unfrozen five centuries into the future. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Factsverse if you haven't already and stick around for more about Aaron Gray. When it came to playing the character of Colonel Wilma Deering, Aaron has shared that making the transition over to acting in science fiction was incredibly daunting, but the good humor of her co-star, Gil Gerard, helped her overcome her struggles. Initially, she expressed she tried to take filming too seriously. However, Gil helped her see the humor in filming the series, which lightened up the actress's attitude. Despite being successful with audiences, it only lasted until 1981 due to its exuberant production costs and the demand on cast and crew. Given that receiving the role of Colonel Wilma Deering had been a bit of a mixed blessing for Aaron in the first place, she wasn't too disappointed when the series was canceled. It had prevented her from spending as much time as she would have liked with her daughter, and she was able to make up for it after the show ended. The filming schedule had been tough on Aaron, even tougher than the filming on Evening in Byzantium. It often necessitated incredibly long days on set. When filming first started, she lived over an hour away from the studio. This made it even worse, but she eventually moved closer to feed and hug her newborn daughter on her lunch break. Despite the fact she hadn't received her big break at the optimal time, Erin still gave her role on Buck Rogers her all. This is part of why the character of Colonel Wilma Deering has gone on to become such a favorite in the eyes of the show's fans. And of course, her outfit and good looks also had something to do with it. After the show ended, Erin continued acting on television. During the first season of Magnum P.I., she could be seen in the episode J. Digger Doyle. The episode revolved around Erin's character, an expert security analyst named Joy Doyle. 
Although the character had been written into the series with the hopes of her becoming a major part down the line, things didn't work out that way. Although Aaron's planned recurring role on Magnum P.I. didn't work out, she was given a starring role on the hit 1980s series Silver Spoons that lasted throughout a majority of the decade. Besides this major role, she could also be seen as a guest star on Murder, She Wrote and Superboy. In 1993, Aaron appeared in the film Jason Goes to Hell, The Final Friday. This was a latter entry in the Friday the 13th franchise. Although it claimed it was going to be the final entry, things didn't turn out that way. The character of Jason has been resurrected several times since. In 2010, Aaron reunited with her Buck Rogers and the 25th Century co-star Gil Gerard. They reunited to play the character of Buck Rogers' parents in the pilot episode of a Buck Rogers web series. The character of Buck Rogers had existed long before the show, having been created by science fiction author Philip Francis Nowlin in 1928. The character's initial appearances were in the magazine Amazing Stories, and it had already been adapted to other forms of media before 1979. Erin has grown to have other interests besides modeling and acting, although she does continue to work in front of the camera. She's now a casting agent with her own personal agency that specializes in booking fantasy and science fiction characters for public and private events. The agency is known as Heroes for Hire. In addition to founding it, she's also a Tai Chi teacher and published author. In 1998, Aaron had a book published alongside Mara Pearl titled Act Right, which sought to give advice to aspiring actors working in film and television. The book was a success, and a revised edition was released years later. Nowadays, Erin continues to work in film and other forms of media. In 2011, she starred in the film Dreams Awake, and she's also appeared on the web series The Guild. In 2014, she appeared on a Star Trek web series known as Star Trek Continues. She's been married twice and has two children. She is still currently with her second husband. Now it's time to hear from you. Comment down below to share what your favorite role from Erin's career is, besides Colonel Wilma Deering. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.